Hey Vogue and welcome to my everyday makeup routine. Obviously kidding, but hey guys, we finally made it to the YouTube channel. It's taken me a hot minute to be honest, but we're finally here and I thought I would do a more in-depth um, everyday makeup routine for you guys. So yeah, hope you enjoy. I'm sorry if I'm a bit awkward, it's the first video, so I'm trying my best. Okay, so the first thing I do is I use this Dior face wash and I use the little Foreo with that. I've already done that already just because it's kind of hard to do that on camera. Okay, so since it's Vogue, I thought I might do some Fuji eye patches. I actually do use these quite a lot because my eyes are very puffy, especially in the mornings and when I have to go up for shoots and stuff. I'm up really early and my eyes are always super puffy. Putting these under my eyes. Okay, so while these are on, I'm going to do some toner and I use this red one. And this is going to give you a really nice glow in the morning. Okay, next thing that I've recently been using is the Hyaluronic Acid from the Inky List. This one is for hydration. Again, the dry skin needs everything she can get, so. Okay, and now comes in the Gua Sha. I see so many girls on TikTok using this and they do it so well and they like drain all the water out of their face and stuff. I don't know how to do that. I just make it up, to be honest. So if this is wrong, then I know it's wrong, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm just doing this because you know we want the jawline to be smudged okay now all the gua sha is done i'm going to take off these eye patches next thing this i also found from tiktok most of the things i use are from tiktok because i spend my life on that app um i use the glow recipe watermelon glow drops now this is basically ran out because i've used this to death because i love it um so i'm just gonna Take it straight from the pot. Okay, so I'm just blending this in and this gives you the nicest base for makeup. It's so glowy, but I also find that it kind of, because it has no like glitter in it, it doesn't look like you have anything on. So sometimes I'll literally just wear this for no makeup day, but it's so good. I'm also just gonna do this little tap in. This is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. I absolutely love this. I just never used to use eye cream and I think it's so important because you might not see that it's actually doing anything, but I think over time it actually is. So I recommend if you don't use one and it just makes you feel like you have your life together. Well, I definitely don't. So it also kind of has a little bit of color in it which I love because I think it kind of gets rid of my dark circles. And now we're gonna go on to my face. This is the Walida, Walida, I don't know. Walida I'm gonna go with. Walida Skin Food and I use the light one. This is like a very intense moisturizer. So if your skin is more oily, I'm not sure if it would be great, but for dry skin, it's so good. And I put a lot of this on. I love my skin to feel really hydrated. And then let's not forget about the neck. Eyebrows, I use this Anastasia Brow Freeze. It's one of the best things I've found, to be honest. I've tried so many different eyebrow things and my eyebrows are quite stubborn. So I find that this is one of the only things that has really kept them in place all day for me. And I just take it on a spoolie and brush it up. So yeah, you can see the difference in eyebrows there. I'm just gonna move on to my other eyebrow. This eyebrow has always been my little bit of a troublesome eyebrow. I actually have a birthmark in this eyebrow, so half the hair is black where I have a patch of skin that actually goes dark in the sun. But I've actually started to kind of like it. I think it's quite cute. I mean, you can hardly see it, but you can only really see it when I get a tan. Okay, and then you're just gonna wanna press that down onto your skin. This is kind of the key part to keeping them there all day. And that is it for eyebrows. It's so super easy and quick, but still looks really natural. Okay, so now we're actually gonna move on to the fun stuff. So first up, I use the iconic London Radiance Boost, and this is in the shade Sand Glow. So I don't take much, I just take kind of 
pump and a half of it. Then I use a beauty blender. I actually don't really damp my beauty blenders. For some reason, it just doesn't work on me when I do that. But this stuff is honestly unreal. I think it's kind of like a BB cream, but it just makes your skin so nice and even and glowy. I just need kind of my skin to be evened out a bit. So it's honestly perfect. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit more. And one thing that I always do is blend this down my neck. My neck always is lighter than the rest of me. Okay, so that is BB cream on. Um, I don't really use foundation unless I'm doing something kind of a bit more out there. And now I'm going in with concealer. This is from Kosas and it's honestly my fave concealer I've ever used. And then I'm also gonna take it around my nose just because I have quite a lot of redness around my nose. And then also just on any little blemishes. So for concealer, I actually like to use my fingers just because I think it makes it look way more natural. I hate when concealer makes me look really cakey. Okay, so next up, this is something that I do just for like personal preference. I then take that little toner thing again and I kind of wipe off anything that's on my nose just cause I like to have my freckles out and I just think it makes the whole thing look like you don't have makeup on when you have your freckles out. So I just love freckles. I think they're so cute. So if you have freckles, don't cover them. Okay, don't hate me for this next step because I know it's so hard to get because it's always sold out and I've had this one for so long because I don't want it to run out. But it is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I find with this product you need like hardly any. I just put a tiny bit. And I also do that. That's where I put my contour. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. I love to contour underneath my lip just cause I think it gives your lip like more of a shadow, which kind of makes it look a little bit bigger. Okay, contour done and now onto a fairly new step, which is blush. I never used to use blush because I used to hate it, but I think recently everyone's been loving blush again, which is nice. So this is the blush from Made by Mitchell and this is in the shade Peach Sugar. And that's where I kind of put it. Just because I love that little sun-kissed kind of, you've just been on holiday look. And I think when you put it across your nose, it actually really looks like you've been in the sun. So yeah, I always put it across my nose and I drag this along like that. Sorry, this whole video is literally gonna be me just going. Okay, and I'm actually gonna add a bit more just because I'm really feeling the blush vibes today. Okay, so now it's looking like we've seen sunlight when we actually live in England which is the goal. So now I'm gonna set this with powder. I use the Huda Beauty setting powder. For this, I take my beauty blender again, and just dip it in and then kind of press. And I just take this anywhere where I don't want too much shine. I couldn't recommend this powder enough, to be honest, it's probably the best one that I've ever used. Also, I feel like I never really explained why I'm doing pretending to be in a Vogue video. I kind of was just like, hi Vogue, and then it was a bit random. But basically, I'm obsessed with watching them. I think they're like my favorite videos on YouTube, to be honest. Um, and I was wanting to do like a get ready with me for you guys. I just thought it'd be cute to do it kind of Vogue style, just because I love those videos so much. I think they're so like aesthetically pleasing. It's also like so cool to see like just celebs getting ready. We're now gonna move on to eyes. Um, I personally don't really do that much on my eyes just because I don't really like it on myself. Like I, I really hate eyeliner on myself. So I tend to just do a bit of um, eyeshadow and mascara to be honest. So I use the Makeup by Mario palette. 
So I'm gonna use this shade here, which is kind of a cool toned bronzy kind of color. And I just take this into my crease. And then I'm going to take the same colour and bring it underneath my eyes. And then something that I've recently started doing is I take this colour and I just put it all over my eyelid. Um, and then I kind of take it up just along the brow bone to blend everything together. And I think it just gives you a really flawless eye. And then I take this white shade and take it along my brow bone. I just love for like my brows to look really lifted and I think this kind of gives that impression a bit more. And that is it for eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm gonna curl my lashes. If you don't curl your eyelashes, why? Honestly, I used to just think mascara didn't work until I did this. It just really changes how mascara goes on and it really opens up your eyes. Now we're gonna move on to mascara. I'm using this iconic London one, and this is actually like an enriching mascara, so it also makes your lashes grow. For mascara, I'm quite picky with how I do it. I like to get to the root and wiggle up. And then I also like to take the tip of the wand and I just kind of get the end lashes. Now I'm going to do the other eye. Next I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. This is the Too Faced chocolate one. It smells insane and I've used this for about two years to be honest and it's still going strong. And I just kind of take this all around to be honest, I don't really have a method with this. Okay now for lips we're going to use this little combo from Refai. So I'm taking the shade Taupe and I'm just gonna line my lips. Now I tend to just overline slightly the bottom of my lip. And then with the corners, I just fill them in normally. And then I just kind of do that to get where it would naturally go and I just And then I just take my finger and I kind of blend that out a bit. Okay, then what I do to kind of make the lip a little bit more natural is I use Benetint in the center of my lip and kind of push that in again. Okay, and then I'm gonna go for a bit of a gloss on top. So I'm just taking the Refi gloss. Okay, and that's my lip done. I mean, I'll switch up my lip combo now and then. I also love to use Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, but just for the moment, I've been loving this new one from Refai. We're now gonna do highlight. I use this Dior Backstage Universal. And I blend out with my Beauty Blender again. Okay, so now that I'm nice and glowy, I'm gonna set all of this in place with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Okay, and then to finish up, we're gonna add a scent. I'm gonna use Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Um, and this has like a little shimmer in, so I'm just gonna squirt that on my chest there. I'm just gonna blend it out with a brush. And here we have the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.